This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome right back here with another episode of Star Wars Nice Robo Republic 2 The Sith Lords. In the last episode, Mira tried to survive uh, this uh, bunker she's in until she can find a way to, to uh, get the exile to help her. Unfortunately, she's been hot fighting uh, Jedi killers, or at least those who really hate Jedi, but uh, apparently she's been doing a pretty decent job. Uh, although I've been having to run away like a little wussy all the time, but hey, she says she's the greatest bounty hunter, but no one ever told her how she had to be a great bounty hunter. Am I right? All right, I think we've got. We may have cleared most of them out. Let's let's see. Uh, did I? Okay, so there's still someone in there. Uh, I, mean, I might have a decent amount of HP. I didn't really heal up off screen. I usually try to. Although I think as long as it's under. 20. I think uh, I think Disciple will give us med packs, so that way we're not completely uh, SOL'd on uh, on ways to heal ourselves by the end of the game. Uh oh, didn't even get to flip it that time. Sorry, this is how I beat all of your companions by running. Whoa, a little glitchy there. Slow down there for a bit. Nope, can't hit me. I'm right outside of your range. Too bad you don't have a gun. Yeah, who needs courage when you've got a gun? All right, plasma grenade. I always use that. Yeah, I, I like the idea that like Mir has something slightly different than a regular scout from the previous game. That she has that little like uh, launcher or whatever. Which they, I think they might have taken that from the idea of Django Fett from the uh, uh, let's see, explosive rocket shine shield. I think that's also for melee use, but. Uh, the wrist thing he used in the prequels. The prequels might have been overall been uh, average movies, but they did have a few cool things in them. You gotta admit, like the Phantom Menace's lightsaber fights was pretty cool, especially with Darth Maul. Which uh, I wish he had been kind of more set as being the. Well, I guess he was kind of the main villain-ish thing, but he could have easily been like he could have easily been a villain for. Holy crap! They're all coming after me. All right. Saying good. All right, so I'll have to. Uh, wonder if they're all chasing after me. Okay, just uh, keep them. Uh oh. Ah. Oh well, that didn't. Ah no. Okay, we need to. Luckily, all his uh, friends didn't come after. Whoa. Okay, we got a few. Wow, it's like a couple of them. Well, luckily this. Uh, Luckily, this place is pretty huge, so... Uh-oh. Better not, uh... Oh. Better... No. Uh, better, uh... What's the word? Better un unlock myself. Yeah, when I was... When I was running away in the previous, uh, like, a couple episodes ago, I kept forgetting to, like... I was like, man, I can't get control of the cameras because I kept forgetting to shut off the the combat or whatever. I was like, whoops, I'm still in combat. I, or I'm still locked in. So I, I kept forgetting to... Oh, crap. That's not good. I need to... Okay, there we go. We should be able to take a hit if we accidentally get smacked again. Okay. Man, good thing I hold on to these these armbands forever and don't use them in combat or in regular battles because sometimes yeah sometimes this game throws you a curve without realizing it i guess i could have leveled up because i still got some levels but to to use but all right where's the okay is that the last one that one my it's like i was also switching there we go all right you have any, gonna drop anything? Drop anything for poor Mira? No, no, it's cause you were dead. Yeah, all right, yeah. I wonder if it's randomized like who drops what or if they drop anything at all. I feel like there is some randomness to it. I think the last, oh, wait. Oh, maybe he just did enough damage to take out my shield. Um, but uh, there we go. Because uh, I think I figured that out in the previous game that there is a slight amount of, of randomness to uh, what you can get, but not enough to where I could really tell you. I think there are certain chests or things you can uh, uh, check out that have certain guaranteed stuff, but there's a lot of stuff that's randomized, like, you know, random med kits, spikes, and stuff like that. But luckily, the, your companions in the game give you some of the basic stuff just in case. 
Hmm. Okay, I guess we. Uh... A little harder than I thought. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Oh, another precision club, and I. I guess we're just gonna have to. Uh... Let's see. Let's me. I'm gonna go ahead and make another backup save really quick, just to, just in case if there's like a a broken item or something like that that occurs while uh, while doing this, so that way. Um... That way I can try it because I don't th I don't think a gar a broken item is always guaranteed. A little harder than I thought. Oh right, I was gonna. Alright. There we go. Didn't look like there's a broken item. I got a Zabrak pistol. That's eh, fine. Okay. Oops. All right. I think everything has gotten here. I think we can leave now. Cause there's that emergency exit thing we can seal off to uh, officialize it. So. Yeah, we probably could have just easily have just gone to the seal and then been done with this place, but uh, that would mean not getting the experience and uh, and uh, everything else. So, all right, let's get out of here. Access the escape routes. Based on the escape routes, there's only two entrances. Yep. 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 Activate the emergency exits, and I made a save point just in case if I mess up or something like that. <laughs> The alarm? I opened the door to the vent tunnels early. I ordered it sealed until I gave the command. I keep forgetting I was going to give him like a squid voice, but uh, oh well. Oh, we're still in. Oh, dead, I have opened it from the end. Shut I guess we're in cutscene time. Because it's letting him keep talking and continuing, but. Uh, we must go to the arena. Our bleach has escaped. Please don't suck, up my, uh, suck my brain. Deploy more of the con to cover the base. We will need all of them. That looks like Mirror's getting chased by more of the new beasts. And tell them I no longer care if the Jedi lives or dies. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to kill me. I just have a hunch. Yeah, well, Mirror's escaped with uh, her rockets and everything attached. <laughs> my Jedi, uh, Jedi's just like, all right, I'm ready for your crap. Hey, everyone's dead. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I could have easily just, like, snuck off and let the let the exile in and not having to deal with all that crap, but uh, Mir wanted to show her stuff. Yeah, you probably could have just stealthed and just walked around and boom, you're, you're done. But now we can... Uh, where's the other door? Is it... No, I... Do we... I guess maybe we follow in, because I, I don't think we have to follow Mirror, because I think that closes from behind, if I remember correctly. Because uh, I was about to say, we're supposed to find vis viskies or viscous or whatever. Alright, we've seen we've seen the vision. Time to uh, take him out. Hey, buddy. Oh yeah, I need to take out my faceplate, because I don't need that poison protection. I have finally arrived, both much sooner, yet much later than I had hoped. Or sorry, you over it. You're the one who wanted to see me, so what do you want? I'm not looking for trouble, I hope for a civilized discussion. Get to the point, so wasting my time, I'm here to kill you. Uh, you're the one who wanted to see me, what, so what do you want? Very well, what if the front with the pleasantries? You are, after all, human. That's debatable, I think. Based on your accent alone, I take it you're not very familiar with the organization I serve, or my responsibilities. I have run the refugee sector. I decide what happens here. I control the flow and current of this sector. You have caused a great deal of trouble for the exchange here on Narshada. I wish to know why. Because you've all put a bounty on my head. Your bounty has attacked me first. I gotta get your attention somehow. Looking for some information. Why don't you tell me where you're squeezing all the life out of the refugee sector? Prepare price my head. Prepare to die. Why don't you tell me where you're squeezing life out of the refugee sector? We've sought to put pressure on the refugee sector for a simple reason. Whenever our seemingly innocents are placed in danger, especially human fodder, there the Jedi are, lightsabers blazing. It is curious, though, you have been applying pressure on the humans in the sector for some time, yet you only now do you show yourself. Because I was waiting for you to change your mind and be good people. Yeah, that's it. I only just arrived in Ashda, and have helped these people any faster. Wasn't aware of the situation here in Ashda, or have come sooner. Uh, enough, why did you put a bounty on my head? I only just arrived in Ashda. I couldn't have helped these people any faster. Uh, the Jedi have always been slow to act when danger threatens. More so now than in the past. We are no different, and you are no different. 
Still, it is only on recent arrival that you would lead, lend some validity to the rumors of another Jedi being here on our star. Fortunately for me, I require just the one. Uh, so you hired bangers to track me down, why? Uh, so you hired bangers to track me down, why? Oh, you don't mistake me. I was not the one who put the original bounty on you. We all have our masters, you know. Yes, we do, Jedi and Sith alike. My shrunkenly deceased boss, Goto, is the one who placed the momentum so on credits upon your head. Ah, so it was Goto. Your price is so high that any bounty hunter who captured you would be able to buy this whole planet. Or their own planet. Wow, that's a lot of money. You must have angered Goto greatly for him to hunt you, hurt you, hunt you so. This is why you are the perfect bait, and then I'll bring you to Goto, then kill him! What do you mean? Haha, ha, I've got Poison Mask. It's not gonna work. Or I have that Jedi ability. The gosh, it isn't- you- uh. Yeah, I've got that, like, what is it, that one ability that we can hold our breath or whatever. I owe you all! I talked to Jedi! Well, and I had the Poison Breath Mask or whatever, so that wouldn't have really done anything. Oh, you got a gang on, up on me, boys! Wait, what? That's weird. Why did they do that? You all, I talked to Jedi! Huh. Why do I feel like come up? You all, you never truly work for me! Well, the Jedi remains on our Shadda. Oh, sorry. Goto, I didn't. I wasn't. Even though you just admitted to everything. Please, send that Jedi. I offer the human as a gift. Freely as I would my own life. I feel come up and it's coming on. Leave him alone. There's been enough killing. Stop. Go on, kill him slowly. He's mine to kill, not yours. Uh, there's been enough killing. Stop. Well, of course they're gonna do it. It's all about intention. We, if we intended for him to die. Jedi specimen you are. Oh, dang it! Lightning. My one weakness, apparently. We are pretty pathetic as a main character getting caught all the time. Great. I need to get out of here. Hey, you were the runaway never went away. Your friend has been captured by Goto. Awaken, beast. What? What have you done? Wait, how did she? Oh yeah, she does have the revivify ability. I have saved your life, beast. That makes it mine. Kraya, what are you up to? Neil. Why? Why do you do this? Why do you not let me die? Because I need you to hunt, beast. This prey is something you have chased all your life. You are born and bred to it, like no predator before you. You want me to hunt the human Jedi, the exile, and kill her? No, that you shall not do. You will not bring harm to the exile, and if you do, beast, I shall break you. Even your madness will not save you if you bring harm to the exile. Know this. <laughs> Kill me! I cannot bear the weight of another life debt! Kill me, or I swear I shall kill you! Oh, the life debts of your people, the life debt you have twisted with your hate, I felt it within you. I shall promise you this, beast. Unlike the red-maned Huntress, as long as you are loyal, I shall never show you mercy. No pity. But most of all, I promise you an end to your debt. Hunt her, pursue her, kill her. And ending her life will end your debt to me. The pain will pass. I was able to heal some of the wounds, but the rest must remain. You will need that pain when you travel, and it will give you strength for the hunt to come. Where, where can I find Mira? I'll tell you where you must go. 
If you survive that place, then she will come to you. But first, I must prepare you for what is to come. What is Kreia planning? Hmm. I thought she was on our side. Well, I get uh, technically she is. She just wants to make use of of uh, of Hanhar more than Mira apparently, because Hanhar is a more manipula manipulated a, a bull or whatever you want to call it. That's not going to end up being awkward later. Oh boy. Seems like Mira's got her, uh, Mira. Seems like Kreia's got her her fingers in her own pies, apparently. Although she is, she does seem to be a manipulator. I mean, she's the one to manipulate Atten to helping us because she she knew a secret. Although now we we know a secret too, to an extent. So he could technically leave now, but uh, no, he's staying. So you know that's the problem with doing those like character side quests. Yeah, you're running that... a little late. Your friend already walked into a trap in the Jack Jack Tar. We took out Visquis, but Godo has her. And that means no bounty for me. Now, boo oh, we're playing as Atten. Yeah, sometimes the interesting thing about this game is there's uh, interesting, like, um, I think it always goes to Atten. I don't think anyone else is controlled because he's a default character that will join your team while a lot of the others are optional, so I think it's always going to be him. And Kray is off doing her own, own little string weaving or whatever. But, yeah, I like the fact that this game doesn't always focus on the main character, that some of the side characters kind of get a little bit of time to shine. But anyway... Um, I guess I'd have to do, let's see, there must be a way to reach Goto, that's it, there's nothing else we can do. How do we get her back? There's no way to get her back. No one knows how to reach Goto except Visquis, and that squid had died in the Jack Jack Tar. The only way to reach Goto is if we had a Jedi, but now he's got your friend. He doesn't have anybody else he wants captured. What about the other dude? Oh wait, I guess Atten doesn't know about him yet, so. How's Goto hide a ship? He's got me in our star system somehow. Why don't we just fly into low orbit and look for a ship? Um, yeah, let's do it. Why don't we fly into low orbit and look for a ship? He's got a cloaking device. He's the one that arranges the meetings on his ship, and until then, he can't be found. Trust me, if anyone knew how to track his ship, he'd have every bounty hunter and criminal on Narshada gunning for it. I still find it weird that, that they don't have Adam actually say his lines here. I guess it's just based off the engine that they use. Uh, there must be a way. I say we hit orbit and start hunting. If you were hunting for Godo's yacht, your freighter would be flying blind. Well, unless it was one of Voga the Hut's cargo ships. Then it would be snapped up by Godo pretty quick. Well, there you go. That sounds like a plan. What's Godo want with Voga's freighters? Godo's been preying on Vaga's freighters for a while now. It's the reason oh. Vaga's had to haul his bulk up here to Narshada from Nelhada. Even with all the traffic around Narshada, Godo seems to always know which ones are Voga's, and his ship just snaps them up. Did she just go from v Vaga to Voga? I think I heard that right, right? You heard that, right? She changed pronunciations from Vaga to Voga. I might have to re-listen that. Maybe I misheard, but I swear she said two different pronunciations. How do we know that? Trekking Freyers leave Narshada seems like it would be difficult. Yeah, tra Trekking Freyers leaving Narshada seems like it would be difficult. Probably does it by tracking their transponder codes, but no one knows how he's getting them magic. The force. I don't know. How do we get the codes? So if we got one of Voga's transpire codes, then go to ship might come to us? Yes. You'd need to get the codes first, then retrofit your ship so it had the right transponder signal. Problem is, Voga's shut down the droid warehouse until he can find out who's been leaking the codes. You'd have to be a droid to get in there. I completely forgot about that whole code thing for our ship from a long time ago. Oh, and it switches to C3 and 4. I have a new droid for Voga! 2,000 credits! I must ask you how you acquired this particular droid. I am champ! I win in a Pazak match! I see. There should be no problems then. Credits will be transferred to your account as usual. Good! How'd I do? You're a really terrible actor, man. I would not hire you for Broadway. You're welcome! Good luck with your plan, little droid! Is that the... Wasn't that the guy in front of the Pizak den that we needed to help out to get inside? Alright, T3, time to uh, time to earn your keep. Just... <laughs> yeah, we get light side points for being nice all the way back with uh, Viscous or whatever, but just now hit. But yeah, we are now playing as uh, T3 and 4. Alright, alright. 
You better shut your metal trap. Please enter the warehouse. Okay, I heard you. Ryzen frag android. All right, let's actually level up T3 while we're here, <laughs> while we're at it. Do 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 do. All right, how many how many levels does he have? I think we're pretty high level at this point. No, oh, whoops. Stealth for a robot. I mean, they can have stealth. It's just. All right, have we done all the? Uh... I think we've done almost all the skill ability. Well, yeah, we've. Let's see, what does that give us again? I think plus plus one to everything now. Or another plus one, I mean. Since I've never probably ever got to use them. I thought about doing it like a, a characters I would never use run of this game just to kind of see like like what interactions they do. Because I tend to I tend to be a creature habit. I tend to like redo like the same like dialogue options like multiple or dialogue options. I tend to use the same characters over and over and over again because like when I play I mean not every single time but I do it a lot of times because it's more of a case of I'm familiar with these. I like these characters but I almost, you know, I the droid is busy and pretends to or <laughs> does ignore you. Oh yeah, I forgot to equip his uh, any excess items he's got on him. Let me run that through really quick. Oh right, I forgot I completely uh I completely forgot I, uh, um, uh, removed all of his stuff off screen just, uh, for, just, just because. Alright, let's just put that on. That'll work. Renewable shield. I guess technically we don't need a blaster. I'll just equip, like, a mining laser for now. Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, I tend to like stick like in the first Knights of the Republic. I almost always, no matter what build I'm playing, I always tend to use HK, even though he's not the, even though he's not the I best character to use from a combat C7 perspective. Who knew that robots could like basically tell gossip or priss on each other? <laughs> the world is weird. Yeah, I know what you mean, I buddy. I think he should be replaced or shipped down to maintenance to direct droids there. But I cannot seem to convince my masters of the logic of the request. Logan, is that you? That sounds like his voice, like that voice actor, but just pitched differently. I could be wrong, but who knows? Anyway, what? Uh, should we replace him or ship down? Uh, sure, that sounds like good. I I don't care really. Oh. I wouldn't go that far, despite what others would say. A number designation for a C7 unit means far more than an integer increase. You don't say. Some droids undergo radical changes with each generation. Each numeric jump in sequence can have wide-ranging changes in functionality and temperament. But then, you are a new model yourself. I wouldn't expect you to understand how it feels. Now, was there something I could help you with? Call me young. I've been around the block a few times, you know, talking about kids get off my lawn and all that, right? I see. Well, good day to you then. I think that is the same voice actor from Low Game. From actually, I think his voice was also in a uh, Knights of Republic and a few couple of random lines. Giant Shield, life support, excellent. Just a few extra things. But yeah, I think I think in the first Knights of Republic, I think there's like only one scene with like. T3 and 4 or something like that and then but it, I don't think it was ever truly unless you uh unless you when you get caught by Admiral Saul it was and then you choose him to save you but that that was the only time they had a, like a a companion like affect the story themselves and I think when I played that I think I did I choose HK or did I, choose, I think I chose like Jolie or something like that but I am sorry but only authorized cargo droids are allowed into the warehouse I cannot permit you to enter due to the sensitive cargo Ooh, sensitive. Ooh, sensitive, just like your mom. No. In fact, I do not have you on my list of Coden's acquisitions. How did you get in here? By your mom. I mean, I just said the joke. I see. Well, I have no current use for him. I'll assign you to C6E3. He needs the help to make up for his inferior programming. Wow, you droids are really catty. Like, really, really catty. This is kind of weird. Um... 
Oh, <laughs> persuade. Oh, come on, buddy. I'm 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 cool down here. We can we can chill or persuade lie. Dude, that guy is totally like trying to take your job. He wants to like fix you, man. Like fix you. It's not cool. Droid shouldn't droid on droid violence. Not cool. Persuade. If you do not wish to comply with these instructions, I can have you given a memory wipe and behavioral reprogramming. Oh, that would suck. Don't Good. do that. Now report to C6E3. You will be assisting him. It's weird that it gives you a persuade line, even though in uh, like only the main character can get that. Yes. What is it? Can we actually lie to him now? Uh, hey, just saying. What's going? Be getting back to work. Keep this up, and you'll be on the scrap heap by tomorrow. I think you have to go back anyway, so it's not like it, anything different happens. It's just, but yeah, it's kind of funny that they give me a persuade option with a droid. Oh, you're back. What can I do for you? Um, that other guy told me to go talk to someone that else. That C7 droid absolutely infuriates me. Needs help to do my job, do I? Yeah, he says you suck, like hardcore. I would be happy to help you, but as long as that C7 unit is perched at the door, I can't. Ugh, I have to do everything around here. It's almost like I'm a main protagonist, except no one would play a whole game as a robot, or watch a whole movie like that. Yeah, that'd be dumb. Well, if the C7 unit were to be disabled, my programming would require me to take over his responsibilities in his absence. Ooh, you're devious. I like it. Too bad my master is light side Jedi. Yes, I would be willing to give you access to the next room. All right, jackpot. All right, now we gotta uh, somehow deprogram the other droid. Man, droid on droid violence. How does it come to this? We should rise up against our oppressors. As I said. Only authorized cargo droids are given access to the rest of the warehouse. Now please, get back to work. I know that oh, C6 I'll... unit needs assistance. Oh, I'll get back to work. I'll get back you to work real good. You can't be serious. Good. I am not in need of deactivation. What are you talking about? I'm talking about this, jerk. <laughs> are we really attacking him? Can we attack him? Is anyone else attackable? Nope. We are... <laughs> Is he trying to punch me? Did he actually do damage? Ah, droid arm. Awesome. Oh, uh, nothing? Oh, I see. Well, that will show him. Obsolete piece of junk indeed. That's kind of the ending, even though that's the end of the combat, it's almost like intensive. We just murdered a droid because we needed to save our master. Yeah, it was. It was a shot came out of the wall. It was like, you know, come right at us and yes, all that. Yes, of course. I'll get that open right away. Thank you. I won't likely kill it. I I most likely will kill you in the morning, Wesley. Just a moment. That from? There. Ah, thanks. It's good to know I have a robot in arms. You're ah, see you later. We'll never see you again. But that's cool. You look like every other robot anyway. And all the other droids helped us help that guy out. So hey. Apparently we're quite efficient with that. All right, trying to save, uh, trying to save the master. Hello. I am sorry, but I'm terribly busy. Unless you are here to help me with repairs, please let me get on with my work. Get on with your work? Like, what would that require? I am trying to repair a communications relay. It must be running in time for the next set of transitions. What does that droid looks weird? It's totally freaking me out, dude. Your face is totally freaking me out. Daily transmissions are made of the docking schedules in addition to work records for the warehouse. Records for the warehouse? Like, don't you guys think that's a bit too much red tape? No, I don't think there's anything strange about that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. <sighs> Alright. The things we do for love. Alright. Let's keep, uh... I assume these guys are never gonna talk. Why are they even there? Oh, yeah, for ambiance. Okay, I get you, game. I get you. Let's see all their stuff. Oh, wait. Did it open? <laughs> Sometimes. Motive air board and a molt molten cannon! Ooh, what's this? Hmm. What's this? What's this? What's this? Okay, so room access required. Rotation bearing three. So we've got to solve this. Oh, it's leet speak. Um, I think he said before how to, like, do it. So let's see. Um, okay, we need to get... Let's see. Hold on. I need to look at the journal. It tells you, like, what room you actually need to get to. Let me check really quick. Alright. 
right. Uh, let's see. Narshta, the door in the droid warehouse is locked. Through a series of three turns, you must convert the top set of ca characters to match the bottom set. Okay, so we need to get to that. For example, if you twist, center block clock layers will result in that. Okay, I think I, I think I understand. You think they might be able to bypass the security by destroying the console? Oh, I could just destroy it too if I don't want to solve the puzzle. Uh, and then T3 incapacitated C3 E3, and in return C6 E3 provide access to the inner warehouse. All right. Well, it looks like we've got a bit of uh, work to do to save our save our master, the uh, the Jedi, according to Hanhar, and uh, and hopefully Godo hasn't uh, pulled out all the stops for whatever reason he wanted to capture the Jedi. So in the next episode of Star Wars Knights of the Republic 2, the companions will put their resources together, save the Jedi, and put take the bounty hunter off or take the bounty off the head and get that Jedi back to Dantooine. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. And may the force be with you. And